Okay. Well, we are doing a little, a little lawn work here. Uh, it's apropos because we're at the Holden Arboretum, and I am doing what everyone does: rake leaves. If I could, if I had a nickel for every, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every leaf I raked when I was a kid, I'd be a rich man. But um, Annie's here, and Annie um, raking leaves. Yeah, an American tradition here during fall. But you um, have a different take. I do. And I wish you had that different take 25 years ago when I was raking leaves. Um, so, because what we usually do, rake them in a nice pile like this and get the bag, get the lawn bag, put them in there and, and then line the lawn bags up so they can come pick them up. But you're like, but wait. But wait. There's something else we can do, there huh? There is. All Which, right. So we're um, here at Holden encouraging you to be a little bit more of a, um, a lazy gardener. Oh, it's a little bit that. better for the environment and also um, better for your garden mm -hmm. and better for all the wildlife that utilizes the leaves. Okay. So instead of putting them in the wheelbarrow like and then would. bagging them up and taking them to the landfill, yeah. what you should be doing is, is putting them back in your garden beds. Really? Yeah. So we have all these leaves that we've raked up. Yes. Do the magic of TV. Shocker. And then what you're saying, don't throw them back in the lawn. Don't throw them back in the lawn. But use or you them could as even, instead of even put in, putting them in the wheelbarrow, just rake them directly into the bed and leave. And use it as mulch? Use it as mulch. And it um, has the same weed suppression ability as mulch. It huh. helps retain soil moisture. Um, and then it breaks down and adds nutrients to the soil. And you know what's nice about that? It's free. It's free. Yeah, it's I was about free. to say, she just made a whole <laughs> bunch of nurseries really upset. Wait a minute. I know. They're not going to come out and buy our expensive mulch. It's, so you just kind of spread it out so it can breathe? Spread it out so it can breathe and so that it can break down. And what's so neat about this, especially because we're in the butterfly garden, yep. is to think about um, the insects that actually will burrow into this during okay. the winter months. Did you know that we have butterflies that stay here? Here in Ohio over the winter. I did not know that. Me too. That is weird, wacky stuff. Weird, wacky I stuff. <laughs> so one of them um, is the, the morning cloak butterfly. Okay. And they will actually burrow underneath these piles of leaves really? or the plant material that you cut back. Mm -hmm. And then on a warm winter day, they'll come out, they'll drink sap from the trees, they'll fly around, and then they'll tuck back in and stay warm. And as we wrap up, so when spring comes, do we just clean the clean them out? No, or you just leave just, them all just leave here. Leave them in there. Leave them all here. You cut your plants back, leave them in. Free mulch. Free mulch. Man. I know. All those bags of leaves, Annie, I raked as a kid, and all I had to do was convince my folks, just put it right back in the garden. That's it. That's all you oh. need to do. All right. Well, fall. Forest Fest here at Holden Arboretum is happening this weekend and next weekend. Come out. Lots of fun stuff. You can go to the website and see what the themes are. And Annie's going to be here just putting leaves back in the. Man, I'm so upset. You know how many bags of leaves <laughs> I have back yeah, as yeah. a kid? Oh, wow. If well, there you go, known. Wayne. Now you have tips. You, you, if we only known, yeah, know. Wayne, Jesse, D, Natalie. Now you guys know, be a lazy gardener, right? <laughs> That's right. Better for the environment.